For more than half a century, the Davis Islands Administration Building stood as the beacon of innovation and growth, guiding the college through its education journey. As we dedicate the new Dr. Gwendolyn W. Stevenson District Administration Center, we look back on our beloved former district building that holds many fond memories. It was the start to the founding of our college, housing leaders who laid the foundation to what the college is today. From the very first HEC presidents, to academic administrators and college attorneys, finance and accounting experts, to government relations and marketing and public relations professionals, to corporate and continuing education. The Davis Islands building, with its majestic views, holds a special place in the history of HCC. Such as the local Osprey that graced us with its presence by perching on the balconies, lovingly named Little Kenny. We hope it will make its way to our current location. Now it's time to turn the page to the next chapter and embrace a new height of academic excellence and transformation. Fostering collaboration and vitality, the District Center was strategically designed to meet the ever-evolving needs of today's workforce. Moving its location to a campus anchored the district operations to the college's overall functionality. Although the building footprint was reduced from the old center to the new one, the entirety of the space is a more efficient use of square footage. Built with tilt wall construction and tall ceilings for increased natural daylight with modular offices, each department now has a suite, enhancing an environment of teamwork. The three floors each have a break room, helping with cross-functional partnerships and creating a reprieve throughout the day. Other amenities include a mother's room located on the second floor. Community conference rooms on each floor with smart monitors opens the doors to stronger community partnerships. A furnished lobby with controlled entry to the main building increases access and security. Rounding out the building is the art displayed throughout each floor. Public arts curated by HEC galleries showcase works by local artisans, including our faculty and staff, with the Dial the Sun by Yala Ford grounding the building. Much like the process of learning and education, the sculpture reminds viewers to think critically, forge their own pathways, create connections, and to be open to the possibilities of the present. As we dedicate this new building, we honor our past, celebrate our present, and look forward to the limitless possibilities in the future for generations of students to come.